Good morning everyone, today is another Nikkei video and today we're going to be talking about how to get a bunch of resources because as you guys may or may not know, Nikkei is an idle game which means that the majority of your resources are going to be earned through idling or just AFKing. So what you can see over here is the outpost defense. This is where I get a lot of my resources and this is where you're going to get a lot of your resources. So obviously the main thing that a lot of people are going to be trying to push is the stage clear count because the higher the level this is, the more resources you're gonna get every minute. Now, I don't know why they calculate it by minute, but who cares, it's really, really nice. Now, keep in mind that the outpost defense does cap out at 12 hours. So you do wanna make sure that you redeem all of these rewards before you hit the 12 hour cap, because once you hit 12 hours, any time after that, you earn absolutely nothing. So you can see here, it's been like 10 hours and 38 minutes over here. So I'm simply gonna claim all these rewards and boom, you see I leveled up to level 45 and I got a bunch of resources, got money, battle EXP, the little orb thingies, the thing that gives me more HP as well as a bunch of gear. But a lot of people don't know that you can increase the amount of money as well as the amount of EXP that you earn per minute through the outpost. So if I click the money over here, you can see that I'm actually earning 40% more money per minute, as well as 35% more EXP per minute, which is actually going to give me a lot more. As you can see here, the default supposed to give me 129 credits per minute, but I'm actually earning 194. And if we look at the battle data EXP, I'm only supposed to get 945 per minute, but I'm actually getting 1,182. So how exactly do I get all of these buffs? Well, as you're progressing through the story, you will unlock the Tactics Academy. And when you enter the Tactics Academy at the very beginning, you're gonna be all the way in class A. So you can see I'm all the way in like class G or something. But at class A over here, you actually need to spend the money to learn all of these things because you get buffs. So for example, when you learn 1-1, you unlock three building slots. When you complete 1-2, increase credit acquirement by 10%. So you get 10% more money. And then at 1-3, increase combat portrait acquirement by 10%. So it gives you more combat EXP. Very, very nice. However, when you get to class B over here, you're going to notice that you need to construct a train station in order to learn all of these things and gain more additional stats. Stats, and as you move along, you're going to need to build more and more buildings in order to unlock all of these buffs. So in order to construct a building, you're simply going to find an empty plot of land. They usually have this little plus symbol around it. Once you click on it, you're going to click on construct and there's going to be an entire list of buildings you can construct. So I've built pretty much everything that I can at the moment, which is why I only have four buildings remaining. However, in most people's cases, you probably have an entire list and it's like really, really extensive. Well, don't worry because there there is no cooldown for building. You don't need to wait for the building to complete. Once you click construct, it literally takes five seconds and boom, it's done. It doesn't cost any extra resources. It's absolutely free. The only thing you need to do is of course to find the actual blueprint. So when you're looking at all these buildings, you just click on the blueprint itself and it literally tells you where you can get it. So as, as you can see here, if I want the radio tower blueprint obtained from lost relics in campaign chapter nine. Now I'm not at chapter nine yet, so I'm not able to to get the radio tower blueprint but for all of the previous ones there are a bunch of blueprints in like chapter 3 chapter 4 chapter 5 so i was able to just backtrack there find all of those relics find all of those blueprints and build all of these buildings so that i could obtain all of these buffs now something i need to warn you guys is it costs a lot of money you are going to run out of credits extremely quickly when you are learning all of these things because as you can see here this one costs two hundred and ten thousand. this costs two hundred and ten thousand, and this is another 210,000 just to unlock these three buffs. But on top of that, when I get to the next tier, so this is the current tier that I'm on, you can see that I need to construct the Goddess of Victory monument or whatever. But on top of that, it's going to cost a whopping 800,000 credits in order to unlock this buff, which will unlock five additional Nikkei slots. So some of you guys heard extra Nikkei slots and got a little bit excited and like, okay, what's that? That sounds really cool. Well, it's actually in your Synchro device. When you go to your Synchro device over here at the very beginning, you're only going to have five slots and you could unlock slots by spending five. 500 gems. Please do not spend your hard earned gems on unlocking these slots because you will literally unlock these slots automatically as you progress through the Tactics Academy. So at class F 
over here. So this is 6 1. You actually unlock the second row of five additional Nikkei slots. So this is the one that you want to aim for if you have an abundance of Nikkeis that need to go through the Synchro device. And the reason why the Synchro device is so important is because you can actually go over the level cap of specific Nikkeis. So for example, if we look at my Scarlet over here, she is not limit broken, which means her maximum level is level 80. However, you can see that my Scarlet's actually level 82 over 80. So how on earth did this happen? Well, it's actually because of the Synchro device. It'll take the five highest level Nikkeis that you have and it will sync all of your other Nikkeis over here to the lowest level out of the five Nikkeis that you choose. So as you can see over here, Neon is currently my lowest level Nikkei at level 82. So whoever I place in the Synchro device over here will automatically become level 82. So I don't need to waste any EXP. I don't need to waste any credits. I don't need to waste anything. And immediately any of the Nikkeis that I put over here will immediately be boosted to level 82. So let me just show you for an example. So as we can see over here, you know, I've got an Epinal, Senti, as well as Crow and Vesti, and these are all level one characters. So let's put Senti in over here, and you're going to see that she's going to boost from level one to level 82 immediately. I'm going to say, okay, all right, so she's here. You can see she's level 82. And let's go over here to my Nikkei list, and you can see over here my Senti is now level 82 out of 80, even though I never leveled her up at all. So she just jumped from level one to level 82 at zero cost, which is super duper nice. Nice. But let's say you messed up and you filled your five slots already with some random characters and you're like, uh oh, I need to put my SSRs there because, you know, they're capped at level 80 now, or I just want them to be strong because I need them for specific team compositions. It's perfectly fine. You can just take them off the list. As we can see here, let's remove Diesel as an example. You're simply going to click on Diesel and you're going to click confirm. It costs absolutely nothing except for time. Once you take a character off, the slot that they were previously occupying will go on a four hour cooldown down before you can put in another unit. So I'm just going to click confirm and boom, you see that didn't cost me anything at all. However, this slot where Diesel used to be, I can't put in another unit there. I need to wait for the four hours cooldown or you can spend the free gems, but please don't spend the free gems. It costs 240. It's a ridiculous price. So just don't pay for it. And if you want to put Diesel back immediately, like right now, you know, I could just click on that. Boom. I put her in another slot. Perfectly fine. Easy peasy. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome?